Welcome back. Problem 6-41. So statement is that uh, the compound beam is fixed at A, pin connected at B and supported by a roller at C. Draw the shear and movement diagram for the beam. So you can see this is a compound beam that is connected by a pin at point B, a roller support at point C and the point A is fixed. So what we have to find is the shear and movement diagram for the beam. So let's start with the solution. So you can see this compound beam. First of all, we have to find this reaction forces at point C. If you remove this support, so there will be a reaction force at point C. Let this is C, Y. And if you remove this force at point A, uh, support at point A, so you will be having a reaction force which is represented as A, Y and you will be having a moment that is equal to ma and since this is compound uh, so what we will do is that we will uh, pin out this portion and we will draw the free body diagram of this beam so let me draw it first so that let this is the beam this is a point c where we have uh, cy that is acting this portion from you can see there is a distributed load of 400 kilo 400 newton per meter load and this is your point b so when you remove this pin so definitely you will be having a vertical reaction force that this is by so we will find this by and this is free body diagram free body diagram of segment bc clear so uh, when you can see you, there is a uniformly distributed load of 400 newton per meter and when you convert it into point load so it will be equal to 400 into length of this beam so length of this beam is you can see two meter so this is two meter so this point load will be equal to 400 into 2 that will be equal to 800 newton now we will apply equilibrium condition in order to find this b y and c y so first equilibrium condition is that sum of all movements about point b is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise movement as positive so about point b one movement is due to c y into perpendicular distance is 2 and this is producing counterclockwise so it will be positive the other one is movement is due to this load which is 400 into 2 and that is acting at 1 meter from point b and this is producing uh, clockwise so it will be negative but their sum must be equal to 0 so i will write cy into 2 minus 400 into 2 and perpendicular distance is this one is 1 meter that is equal to zero so from here you will get cy will be equal to 400 newton now you have cy you can find by by using another equilibrium condition is that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so you can see three forces one is by plus cy minus this 800 will be equal to zero so cy is 400 so 400 minus 400 into 2 plus by is equal to 0 so from again from here you will get by will be equal to 400 newton okay now we will take the segment uh, that is segment uh, a B so what we will do is that for segment a B because we have to find a Y and a M so I will draw the free body diagram of this segment a B so let this is the segment here you have a reaction force which is a Y and there is a movement that is M A and at this point of uh, at here you have a load of 600 newton the distance between a y and 600 newton is 2 meter 
you can see over here and this is your point b this is your point a now you can see you have b a b y in this portion in this b c was taken upward so in according to newton third law if you take a b segment so this b y will be downward so i will uh, draw it like downward this is your b y which is known to us and distance between 600 and b y is 2 meter so again by applying equilibrium condition you can find b y what, what will be the equilibrium condition is that sum of all moments about uh, point a is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about point a one moment is this external moment and that is counterclockwise so it will be plus the second moment is 600 into 2 and that is producing clockwise so it will be negative and third one is by into perpendicular distance is 4 meter and this is producing clockwise so it will be also negative but their sum must be equal to 0 so I will write ma minus 600 into 2 minus 400 by is equal to 400 so 400 into 4 is equal to 0 so again if you solve this you will get movement at point a is equal to 2800 newton okay similarly you can find uh, a y as well by using equilibrium condition that sum of all forces in along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so one force is a y minus the second force is 600 minus b y b y is 400 so that is equal to zero so from here you will get a y is equal to thousand newton so now you have all the reaction forces so what i am going to do is that i will remove all these things from this place and we will move it to another place so that you can just draw the shear force and bending moment diagram over here okay so for bending moment and shear force diagram so first step is that you have to draw the vertical lines from the end of the beam here and on horizontal axis you will take the length of the beam that is x in meters here on y axis you have shear force which is in newton so let each division is of 500 newton so this is 500 this is 1000 similarly this is minus 500 and this is minus 1000 so at point A you can see you have AY which is equal to 1000 so your first point will be this one now moving from point A till this there is no other load so it will remain horizontal so it will remain horizontal till this end point now you can see at this point you have a six, minus 600 so 1000 minus 600 will give you 400 so shear force will change from 6 1000 to 400 so let 400 is this point so shear force will change from 1000 to 400 this is your 400 this is your 1000 clear and again moving from point b to from this to this there is no other load so it will remain same this will remain same till this point now again you can see there is a uniformly distributed load that is 400 newton so 400 into 2 will be equal to minus 800 because it is downward so here we have 400 minus 800 will bring it to minus 400 at the end so we will get the shear force like this so let this is your minus 400 so your shear force will change from this to this okay so this length is 2 meter 
this length is also 2 meter and the total length is 6 meter so this is your shear force diagram now we will move toward bending moment diagram so for bending moment diagram again you have to take horizontal line and x will be in meter and moment will be equal to newton into meter so first we will plot the point a at a you can see you have a moment ma which is counterclockwise and that is 2800 so let each division is equal to uh, 500 this is uh, 1000 and this point will be 1 and this will be 2000 2000 similarly this will be 2500 this is 1500 2500 and there this point will be 2800 minus 28 all these are minus because this is downward now you can see you have a counterclockwise moment m a so that is 2800 but when you draw the shear a bending moment diagram it will suddenly uh, go downwards causing negative value so your first point will be this one now the area under this shear force diagram is you can see this area is 1000 multiplied by 2 which is equal to 2000 so minus 22 minus 2800 plus 2000 will give you 800 at this point so we will locate 800 at this point so let this is 800 this is minus 800 because minus 2200 plus 2000 is and uh, since this shear force is a horizontal line so bending moment will be one degree higher and this will be a straight line again the second area under the shear force diagram is this area and this is rectangular so this area is equal to 400 which is height into 2 and that is equal to 800 plus 800 so minus 800 plus 800 will bring it to 0 at this point so this is the point and you can see that uh, shear force is a horizontal line with 0 degree slope so bending moment will be one degree higher and it will be a straight line the th third area is this area you can see this area and this area is equal to um, you can see this is the mid of these two so this area will be equal to 400 into 2 divided by 2 because this is the triangular area and triangular area is equal to 1 over 2 height into this base clear so this will give you 400 uh, this will give you not 400 this will give you let me check it this is 400 this is 1 sorry so area is equal to 1 over 2 400 into 1 that will give you 200 so 200 will be this point let 200 will be this point here and again you can see that shear force is a one degree line and slope is degree decreasing so bending moment will be one degree higher and it will be in clockwise the arc will be in clockwise direction okay now the third area is this area and this area is 1 over 2 minus 400 into 1 and that is again equal to minus 200 so plus 200 minus 200 will bring it to 0 at this point and we will get the bending moment like this so again this will be a curve not a straight line and that will be clockwise so in this way we have drawn our bending shear force and bending moment diagram so this is the shear force diagram i will write shear force diagram and this is bending moment diagram and that is all about our this problem 6-41 i hope you have enjoyed this video those who are 
again new to my channel i will request them to subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching